Jason Carter asks about 3PLs. He wants to know about both sides, both the 3PLs, how do they get more customers? And also on the e-commerce entrepreneur side, how do you choose and decide which 3PL you should work with? The biggest secret for a 3PL, it is not hard to find customers. So here's some things that are easy. Just do what Amazon won't do as a 3PL. Simple things like this. For example, first, kitting and bundling. That is such a trivial thing to do in a warehouse. Just take this item, this SKU, put it with that SKU when the order comes in and it says two different orders. Unfortunately, Amazon doesn't allow people to do that. When they have two listings, two separate listings, each of those ship separately. You can't come in and say, I have a holiday deal where I'd like to put both of these listings for sale for 20% off. Amazon doesn't allow you to do that right now, not in a simple way. It's not really possible, but you can if you have an entrepreneur who wants to sell shampoo and a conditioner and create a bundle or a kit, make it easier for them to do that for you without having to get a bunch of apps or integrations or anything product, just make those uh, bundles on the fly, right? For like a holiday promo or a Valentine's Day kit. They've already got the SKUs there. Just make it easy for them to kit. That is a simple thing to do inside the warehouse, but it means so much to an e-commerce entrepreneur. Like they will fall over backwards to work with you for that one feature, right? Like it is a big, big deal, guys. The next thing, offer inserts. Amazon does not like putting inserts from the brand into the package. So this is something you can offer your e-commerce entrepreneurs that you're trying to sell to that you'll print them and make sure you print them too without a special project fee guys. However, that is a huge marketing tool for the e-commerce entrepreneur. Why do they want to do this? Because every time you put one of those little items in the package and ship it off to the customer, that customer will get that and can give it to someone else. Now the e-commerce entrepreneur not only gets that one sale, but they also get a valued customer who's talking to another person, putting it in their hands, who's probably going to buy the product. So it allows that customer to sell more, which means that you get to ship more. So as a 3PL, put the inserts in the box, please. Simple and easy to do. Don't make it tough. All the ones that I've talked to that do this, they always want to charge an extra dollar or two to put it in there. Stop making that hard. Third thing, offer grading. This one you can charge for. Charge for this, but no one really does this. A lot of returns are a big deal in the e-commerce industry. So people will buy stuff and ship it back. You accept the returns, which is fine, but you always only give us one or two options, which is destroy it for us, throw it in the trash, or ship it back to us. Offer a third service. What if somebody shipped it back unopened or it was returned undeliverable? Put it back on the shelf. Actually have someone open it, take a look at it, or take a picture of it, send it to the entrepreneur and let them decide if they want to keep it or not. Offer that. I would gladly pay for that because guess what? It'll cost me more to uh, either send it to myself or to ship it back or to figure out what to do with it. And that's actually inventory. If it's still good, I can make money on that still, which means you can ship it out again. So offer grading as well as one of your options for returns. And then simplify your billing and constantly let people know of ways to decrease their bill. It is the worst thing. When you get a 3PL customer, they're going to be with you for a long time. What I found is 3PLs are so nitpicky on the price and never really want to decrease it or find ways to help you. That's annoying because if I find a good one, I'm going to stick with you for years. Tell me how I'm going to pay you and make it easy for me to understand. The worst is when I get these big, long pages of documents. Here's how much it is for the dunnage. Here's how much it is for the cardboard box. No, just charge me on number of orders per month, right? How much I'm going to pay per order and per unit per order and storage. That's it. At most three things. Keep it simple. Some go too simple. A couple of vendors will give you just one price. I hate that because I don't have any way of optimizing. They add in the cost of the shipping as well as fulfillment, uh, as well as storage all in one bundle. I don't like that because sometimes I can send you less stuff and have less on the storage. Or if I have less orders going out this month, I know I can lower my bill there. Or if I ship with a different ship method, I like to be able to optimize those things, but don't bundle those. So shipping prices are separate completely from the fulfillment service, but the fulfillment service should be broken up into shipping per order, shipping per unit in each order, and then pricing for storage. And then a simple, easy one, guys. And I don't understand why none of you offer this, 3PLs, forecasting. I think ShipBob actually, they do it. But forecasting, help me know where I'm gonna run out of product. It helps you, it helps me, and the math is simpler for you guys to figure out once and offer to all your clients than have each and every entrepreneur figure out because they're constantly stocking out. As an e-commerce entrepreneur, the last thing I'm trying to figure out and when I'm trying to figure out marketing and shipping and customer service and all these things is, you know, what is the average days of cover I should maintain in my Pennsylvania warehouse based on the trends and the forecast? No, you do that, right? Do that for us and let us know, hey, 
based on your selling pattern and your sales velocity, we're forecasting you to run out at this date. And it can be all entirely automated. If you don't have the capability in-house, use a tool like Inventory Planner. And what I was talking about with simplifying the billing and letting me know ways to decrease, this fits in two. You're already alerting me of when I'm gonna run out. Let me know, by the way, your bill has been lowered this month because you're shipping more than usual. You're gonna run out because you're shipping a lot more. You've qualified for the next tier, right? Because there's usually price breaks. If you're shipping 500 orders a month, 1,000 orders a month, 2,000 orders a month, there's a price break. So just let us know, hey, if I'm at 1,900, just let me know. Another 100 orders this month and you qualify for the next price tier. Be proactive about that stuff. And guess what? I'll fall in love with your 3PL and I will send you more business. And also make the technological integration easy. I have worked with so many fulfillment centers that make it a chore. Everyone uses Shopify. Everyone uses ShipStation pretty much. Those are the two de facto. So work with some software provider or some vendor to pull the orders from that platform into your WMS. Don't make the entrepreneur have to figure out how to plug into your warehouse or else guess what? They're not going to use you. It's a pain to send you spreadsheets of orders at the end of every day. Don't do it. Make it simple. Everyone use a ShipStation. At very least, just use that, right? Because ShipStation, they've done the work already to plug into all the major e-commerce service providers. So that's it, y'all. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you soon.